Shalom Makyu. I'd like to start off with giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwatash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity and all charity. This is Abiyala from the Great Millstone Chicago can coming at you with another lesson. And um we got here's uh the book of Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, and um I'm gonna go read a couple of verses and um you know, basically, you know, this this chapter goes into a lot of uh, judgment and uh, um, and 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 in the in the ways of, of our people and how rebellious and stiff necked they are, and uh, a lot of these things you can see today in this present world, man. You know, like the scriptures in Romans, all things are written aforetime, written for our learning, that uh, through the comfort of scripture, we, uh, you know, we may grow. You know, rough and paraphrasing, you know, we, you know, may we may be comforted, but um. This is a. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the first from the top is Jeremiah five and one. It says, "Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now and see, and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. If ye can find a man, if there be any executed judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. And and, and that's ultimately why the Lord, you know, uh, is gonna deliver the elect man, because there's gonna be sir a group of men." You know, that that are gonna uh, come a, come from, come away, all right, from from the from the ways of this world, man. You know, you know they they they're gonna uh, uh, um, you know they're gonna become new creatures in your house. Shy, they're gonna they're gonna uh, um, you know, all right, uh, put off that old man and, and repent, all right. You know because it uh, it also says in Ezekiel nine and four that that that, that angel, all right, which uh uh um. Uh, Will go will uh, run to run for, uh to and fro from Jerusalem. He's gonna set a mark upon those that sigh and cry. Those are the the ones that the Most High is gonna pardon, man. Verse two says, and though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely, right? Because our our, our um our people today they have a, a a zeal for the Most High, but but not of a of an understanding, man. You know they 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 uh, uh they honor the how about Shimi Al Shai with their lips but with their hearts are, are are far from him man, you know, and the and and, and the scripture says that um, that they, they they do it uh um, he says woe to the pastors that scatter my fly because they do it for uh, uh filthy lucre's sake man, you know, they they uh, uh um they feed themselves and, and not the sheep, you know, verse three oh yeah how are not thy eyes upon the truth. Thou has stricken them, but they have not grieved, right? You know, and, and our people wonder why uh, they're they're being uh, 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 jacked up and, and here and, and being uh, um, chastened and afflicted by the Lord. Yet yet yet, yet they uh, accuse the Lord for for uh, for their for um, you know for their afflictions. You know that's what Scripture says here. I'm gonna get it real quick. All right, uh, Micah. What was that? I think it's Book of Micah. Micah 1, All right, Isaiah Malachi 1, All right, Malachi 1 and 2, I have loved you, said the Lord, yet you say, where has thou loved us? I was not Esau, Jacob's brother, said the Lord, yet I love Jacob, All right, and that's the mentality of our people, man, you know, the Most High has blessed us with promises, all right, that 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 are, are beyond this world, all right, the Most High promises the whole earth, man, rulership, all right, and our people uh, are, are rebelling against the Most High, and, and um, you know, questioning the Most High if if He loves us, man. You see, but it says, "I'm gonna read it again, man." Oh Yahweh, are not thy eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have not refused to receive correction, right? And our people just believe in this this society, man. You know that they believe that that there's no high power. All right, a lot of people are atheists. All right, they believe that uh, um, you know, they they believe in in, in a karma in a wicked way. They believe in, in uh, um, you know, in, in in the universe that you know you you get what you receive in in the wicked side because the most high does said uh you you uh you sow what you uh you reap what you sow or you sow what you reap salaki but. You know our people uh don't don't acknowledge that how about Shimi Al Shai is doing all these things and these miracles, man. But the scripture says and and Hosea four and one that the Most High has a contra controversy with the inhabitants of the people because there is no truth, man. 
right? Because they don't know uh, uh, the Most High, man. That's why they are destroyed, man. It says, um, they have made their faces harder than rock, than a rock they have refused to return. Therefore, I say, surely these are poor and they are foolish, for they know not the way of Yahweh nor the judgment of, of their power. And, and, and this is exactly how uh, uh, two thirds of our people are, man. They're ignorant, uh, stiff necked, Scottish people, man, stupid people, man. And the Lord's going to get rid of them, man. You know, he's going to get rid of them the same way he's going to get rid of these other heathens, man. All right, with destruction, uh, with, uh, with fire. All right, with the uh, ultimately these missiles that the Most High is going to bring to this place, man. N nuclear missiles, man, to cleanse the land for the wickedness and, and for, for all the folly, all right, that they've done in the sight of the Most High, man. It says, I will get me up unto great men and will speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their power. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. You see? It says, Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. A leper shall watch over their cities. Everyone that goeth out then shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased. Right, man. And they are increased through the, the wicked, man. It says the, the, the earth was given uh, to the hands of the wicked. The wicked is who Esau, man. When Alexander the Great came into power, I right, the first Edomite to ever uh, rule, I, right, uh, uh, you know, especially over Greece. Yeah, right, the script says that the uh, wick, uh, wicked, wickedness was multiplied, man. You know, so the Most High has to judge these uh, uh, people, man. You know, and it says, and it says, uh, 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 wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, all right, and a leopard shall watch over their cities. Why? Because the Most High, you know, has certain uh, uh, beasts, all right, that He has created for vengeance, man. You know, uh, uh, another scripture says that uh, um, a lion or uh, a bear shall chase them, all right, and they shall escape in a house, but they shall lean and, and, and a snake will bite them, just roughly paraphrasing, man, all right? So the judgment is going to be everywhere pretty soon, man. If you're, if you're wicked and, and you're not fearing your help Hashim Yahshai and, and, and keeping his commandments, all right, and ultimately, if you're not part of the elect, then the most High is going to judge you, all right, wherever you go, man. There's gonna there, there isn't gonna be no way to hide, man. The scripture says though they hide though they, though they uh, uh um you know uh though they hide themselves uh, uh, uh um though they dig into hell the though they dig into hell then's when my hand uh to take them out, man. You know, you know these all these bunkers they're trying to hide. The scripture says in uh, in Second Nezir sixteen chapter I believe that um that uh uh. uh you know they they show uh, uh run to the mountains, but they should starve and and be sure you eat them, man. You know, so there's there's no way to there's no way hey, out, there's no way out of this destruction, man. Ex except those uh, uh uh chariots of the Lord, man, the chariots of salvation. So it says, how shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I have fed them to the full, they they then committed adultery. And assemble the souls by troops in the harlot's houses, man. Right, man. Our people have committed adultery against the Most High, man. Worshipping these other idols. All right, these other gods. All right, fornicating with, 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 with these other gods, man. You know, the scriptures give a parable about the two sisters, man. Holabah and uh, Hylabah, man. You know, how they how they were uh, uh, lusted over their uh, uh, lusted over uh, um, their lovers. All right, and this our people, man. And the Most High said, uh, 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 um you know, shall a man, uh, shall a woman depart from her, uh, her man, and uh, uh, um, and, 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 you know, and, and go into another? So surely that land should be defiled. That's what our people did to to the Most High, man. You know, and, and that's a grievous thing for a woman to leave her man and, and uh, commit adultery with another. That's a grievous thing, man. And that's why the law is they should both put to be put to death, man, because that's wickedness, man. All right, and us brothers, we got to bear them the nation of the Lord because we have sin against him, man. But two thirds don't acknowledge their sin, man. Uh, you know, we follow in the ways of King David, man. He says, I acknowledge my sin and, and my sin is ever before me, man. But two thirds of our people, they love to have it so, man. You know, they love to do their wickedness, man. They, they take pleasure, all right, in wickedness, man. You know, but the most high is going to get rid of all you filthy people, man. You disobedient, a backsliding two thirds of a nation of Israel, which are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, it says they were they were as fed horses in the morning, everyone night night after his neighbor's wife, man. You know, 
You know, lusting after, after uh, your neighbor's wife, man. I, what kind of society is this, man? It's, it, it, this is America, man, to a T, man. You know? And, and, and it says, man, people, at the end of this chapter, it says, my people love to have it so, man. Look around the uh, Chicago, New York, all these different cities in, in the media. You go to these different out and clubs or, you know, you go to certain bars, man. You know? These women out here, man, are, are half naked, man. These men are, are, are men are uh, adulterers. Our men are faggots, man. You know? Everybody lusted after their neighbor, man. It's these women are these women are out of order, man. You know, they have a they have a, a husband at home and, and, and you know they go out to clubs, man, looking looking for some for some new rod, man. All right, that, that's that's what America has produced, man. Wickedness, man. And the most high is gonna destroy this place, man. Shall I not visit for these things, said Yahweh? And shall I not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Go ye upon her wall. Yeah, and the Most High is going to avenge two-thirds of our people, man. You know, the Most High has had it with, with, his, uh, with the Israelites that are wicked, man. You know? You know, you guys are... Uh, uh, the Most High has a name that you 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 people shame, man. You know? Verse 10. Go ye upon thy, her walls and destroy, but make not it full end. Take over her battlements, for they are not the Lord's, man. All right? And that's us brothers here. All right, that the most high sanction, all right, to, to take down these strongholds, man. These uh, uh these uh different philosophies that 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 are contrary to the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. You know, it says verse eleven for the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me, said the Lord. They have belied the Lord Yahweh and said it is not He. Neither shall evil come upon us. Neither shall we see sword nor famine, man. And and, and that's right, man. And the scripture says, just because a uh, judgment is not executed speedily, all right, a, uh, judgment against us uh, 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 isn't ex executed speedily. You know, what I'm saying just roughly paraphrasing. All right, it says, uh, uh, actually, it says sentence. Uh, um, you know, just roughly paraphrasing. That's uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 11 and five, I believe, or 11 and eight. All right, but just because the Most High is not uh, 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 um, judging you for your wickedness right away, is given to you to the eyes of men to to do evil, man. And that's why they say they show we should never see a sword nor a famine. I believe the scripture in Ezekiel that said that um that that the destruction shall be for many days, man, and we should not see it. You know, that's the mentality of our people today, man. It says, and the prophet shall become become wind, and the words is not in the in them, thus shall it be done unto them. Verse 14, wherefore thus shall the Lord Yahweh of hosts, because he speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and they shall devour them. Right, man. And this word is devouring our, our, our people, man. They're being cut to the core. You know, you know, uh, this this word can be gainsay. You know, we got uh two thirds of our people want to rebel against this word and, and you know and scoff it, but hey, the, you can't gainsay the truth, man. All right, you can't do nothing against the truth before it, man. You know, people try to come up on YouTube and scoff it, but all you're doing is bringing more shine to 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 the to the to this agenda, this uh, uh um, this uh uh, uh the, you know, the word of the Most High, man. So verse thing, Lord, will I bring a nation upon you from far, O house of Israel? Said the Lord, it is a mighty nation, it is an ancient nation, a nation whose language thou shalt not thou knowest not, neither understand what they say. Their quivers is open with sepulchre, and they are mighty men. And they shall eat up thy harvest and thy bread, which thy sons and daughters shall eat. They shall eat up the flocks of thy herds. They shall eat up thy vines and thy fig trees. They shall impoverish thy fenced cities, wherein thou trustedest with the sword. And and that and, and you could and that happened, all right, uh, numerous times uh, uh, with you know the most high use of the nation of Edom, are to afflict us, man. You know. It goes in the curses, Deuteronomy 28. It speaks about a fierce nation who's, who they should not regard old or young, man. It's talking about the Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. You know, they had us build their, 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 uh, uh, this kingdom, this empire called America for free, man. All right. Verse 18, nevertheless, in those days, said the Lord, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass when you shall say, wherefore do the Lord our power God, uh, 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 all these things unto us, then shall thou answer them like as ye have forsaken me. Then shall thou answer them like as ye have forsaken me and, and serve strange gods in your land. So shall ye serve strange, strangers in the land that, ye, that is not yours, man. Right, man. Now, us brothers understand the history that we went, you know, that, that uh, we had to serve our punishments. 
you know, you know, for, for our iniquities. All right, but the Lord has given us a, a, a grace, all right, to repent and to come back to 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 uh, um to 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 uh to life, man. All right, that the Holy Spirit has quickened us, all right, that we may receive this word in meekness uh, to save our souls, man. You see, declare this in the house of Jacob and Paul and, and Judah, saying, "Hear now, this a oh, foolish people, and without understanding, which uh have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not, man, because the Lord had blinded." The two thirds of our people, man. You have what I said. I speak. I speak unto you uh, in parable, in parables, because it is given to you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them is not, man, because the Lord could uh, could ultimately open the eyes of two thirds. But the Lord doesn't love everybody, man. It, the Lord doesn't love. The Lord only loves a certain group of men. All right, called the elect, man. All right. And, and and not just the men of 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 the of of the elect. You know, because in, in within the elect, all right, there's women and children, all right. You know, the certain men that, that he's dealing right now is the one forty four thousand, all right, that make up part of the elect. It says, "Fear ye not me," said the Lord. Will ye, will ye not trouble at my presence, which I have placed the sand? You know, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it, leave it right there, man. You know, I'm just gonna drop down here, it's verse thirty one. It says, and the prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end of man? You see? So, hey, Lord, when this little video was edifying, uh, I just want to go through. You know, I was reading Jeremiah fifth chapter the other day, and you know, and you know, this chapter I describes our, our, our the wicked of our people to a T, man. You know? All right, um, I'm going to read verse 26, Jeremiah 25 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay in wait as as he that set a snares. They, uh, they set a trap and they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wax and rich, man. All right? Because our people like to get one upon uh, one on uh, one on each other, man. And, and, and uh, um, you know, bet uh, back, uh, betray their brother, man. You know? And that's what these artists do, man. They they uh, um they share these famous rappers. I right? they set snares to people to follow, all right, and things that they wouldn't uh, uh, teach their children. But because money is the root of all, of all evil, they do it, man. You see. So with that, Lord, when this video was edifying. I want to give all praise to you. How about Shimi Aushai, about Shimi Kakwatash, the bottom of the apostles of Great Millstone, and said to the elect out there, pushing his word in truth and sincerity and all charity. Until next time, I say Shalom and a bottle of ball.